Hi everyone, here is the Book once again, and today I'm reviewing uh, Bright Lights Big City by Jay McErnie because someone requested it. Actually, this is one of my favorite books of all times. It's, I mean, by far my favorite minimalist novel and by far my favorite novel about doing drugs. Suck it, Mr. Kerouac. Bright Lights Big City is a writer's wet dream because it's the kind of book that skyrocketed the success of its author, making him go around New York in a Porsche and it does that by being written in the second person, which if you are a writer, if you write for magazines or whatever publishing has this, one thing everyone will tell you is don't write in the second person. It's loathsome, everybody hates it. But Jay McCurney actually does it very, very well, and his novel makes you emphasize a lot with the main character, which is who is a very definite person with a personality and features and stuff he loves and stuff he hates and loves Lots, lots of emotions, even though it's written in the second person. So theoretically speaking, the main character is you. The book, in general, is in many ways a critique of the materialistic, success-oriented culture of the 80s, especially in New York City. The main character works for a highbrow magazine and at night he like got gets completely wasted in these cocaine parties and going around clubs jumping from club to club so as i said there's lots of using drugs in this book if that's a problem for you don't read bright life big city but those parts aren't written in a disturbing or morbid style in any way and actually the parts which will make you feel a bit bad but in a good way a, a bit sad are those concerning the main character and his beloved, but I won't say more about that because it won't spoil you the pleasure of the book. Bright Lights Big City might seem at first to praise this culture of extreme fun, extreme success, everything is great, everything is having a good time, but throughout the book you feel the exhaustion of the main character facing this kind of life and you realize how eventually empty it lives in, even though he's actually enjoying all the costly pleasures of the world, of his world, including not not last very expensive cocaine. It's a wonderful short book. It's one of those perfect short novels like Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men, like uh, Von Gatt's uh, Slaughterhouse Five, which you will read maybe in just one afternoon, but you won't forget for the rest of your life, really. In its critique of the materialistic American 80s, I like to think of it as the bright side of American Psycho by Bret Easton Ellis and of Bret Easton Ellis in general, really, who is a writer who deals much much more on the morbid side of that kind of culture on the like the disgusting part. Bright Lights Big City everyone can read it, my mom could read it, I'm sure your grandmother might read it and enjoy it and feel moved by it. Do read it, it's an amazing book. Thank you so much for watching guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Let me know what you thought about the book in the comments if you have read it. Bye guys.